The Rebel flagship on the third phase, if they have like six crew members, oh my god, kiss your ass goodbye. That is so hard to come back from, especially if you don't have mind control. Help, our shields are down and we won't last long. So we could use a teleporter or a defense drone. I would rather use the defense drone because I don't need crew. Okay. Your drone succeeds in keeping their ship from breaking apart while they fix it. However, you take some damage while attempting to leave the asteroid field. They offer you some military supplies as thanks. 35 scrap, ion charger, and a little bit of damage. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. It could have been wet. Could have been better, could have been worse. Was I about to say could have been wetter? We have a fire aboard the ship, too. Um, we can put it out relatively quickly. We just have to find it. It's going to be in one of the empty rooms. There it is. Okay, no fires. Always keep your ears open. You know, if I had jumped and was in combat when that fire spread to the piloting room, that would be real bad. Okay, 100 scrap. Into the asteroid field we go. And by asteroid field, I mean nebula we go. Nothing. We need fuel, but I think it's still worth doing because we can buy time doing this. Attack the ship. Oh my lord! Well, that's what this is for. No, actually, what we should do is we should board them first. So go back to your rooms. Breach their weapons, take those offline. Oh, perfect. That's, that's good enough. Now, we could hack them, or we could utilize a defense drone in order to, where's their other crew member? Oh, there he is, he got hit by the missile. Uh, we could hack him or we could use utilize the defense room. I think I'm gonna use a defense drone to stop the missile. And then we might use another, um, actually we can switch over to the Vulcan now and then take out their uh, med bay that way. That'll work. I just wanna to try to use as few parts as possible, missiles or, you know, drone parts, either one. Unfortunately, we did... Oh, God. Uh, get hurt, obviously, which was unfortunate. And now we're gonna go back onto their ship. Uh, this, 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 this. Just gotta, just gotta wait for the Vulcan to, to power up. We, they only have two crew members remaining, so they shouldn't be that hard to take out. I hate that we're actually taking missile damage. I have a, a freaking drone. You think it would be able to take out the, uh, the missiles when they come in, but apparently not. Like, what? What? Why did? Why did I even put you out there if you're just gonna let me get hit by six missiles? You know. Good job, defense drone. You're useless. I could have used a, you know, a bomb to breach the med bay, but the Vulcan did it on its own. Saved us a missile part. Cost us some, some hull integrity, but was that worth it? I don't know. But you know, what's done is done. So we need a little bit more scrap for the weapons. Oh, I forgot to put the breaching missile online, so we're gonna have Vulcan for this one. Which is still not bad, but I really do hope that uh, we can take out their crew. In fact, I feel like this is, we should use a hacking part, because this fight could be extremely bad for us. So I, I am going to use a hacking part. I'm going to try to take out their, uh, their med bay. Seems weird, but what we're going to do is lock them in the med bay and then hack the med bay and then kill them in the med bay room. Beautiful spot for them to be. We're gonna kill these crew as quickly as we can. So they're going to want to go into the med bay in a moment. Vulcan needs to start firing. Uh, when they go, don't kill my crew. When they go into the med bay, 
We're gonna follow them, and then we're gonna hack it. And then the hacking is going to hurt them, and then they're gonna die. And now, the only thing we have left to do is kill one human aboard our ship. Hopefully before we take too much more damage. Annoying encounter because of the Ion Pulsar, but we managed to make it work. And I am gonna do some healing before we leave. Uh, we still have plenty of Ion damage that we need to, to purge from our systems. Could've been better, could've been worse. We also cannot upgrade, unfortunately, at this beacon. We're gonna have to wait on that. Let's get you, uh, you there. Jump. We're gonna go right. Okay. Rebel Autonomous Scout is exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a nearby moon, but the ship finds you and begins its assault. It's also trying to escape. Because it's, oh, Combat Drone Mark II. Because it's trying to escape, we might want to hit their piloting room with a breaching missile and keep them here. We missed, uh, bad, very bad. I am going to, I'm gonna take out their piloting, breach it, and then kill them. Slight bit of risk associated with this because of the, uh, of the drone. But that's a good miss. That's a, an extremely important miss to keep us from taking damage, ideally. So we're gonna take out their piloting, I hope. Not quite, but it's pretty low. I could hack them, and if I hack their piloting, it's like more likely to land, obviously, but I'm just gonna shoot it. You go back onto weapons, please. Okay, so now they're stuck here. They cannot leave. So now we gotta we gotta take out their wep their uh, you know weapon systems at this point because they're starting to hurt, especially the ions. Ions are highly annoying here. Let's start taking their systems out. Don't fire the ion or dodge. Nope, shields are back online. It's fine. Okay, drones offline. That's the big one. Without that drone being online, they can't really do that much to us. Are we gonna get the Vulcan online? We can. I don't think they can hurt us at this point. Okay, uh, I, I mean, dangerous, obviously, but I think we're in the clear now. We did take some hull damage. Luckily, the hull damage that we took was not in, you know, teleporter, or they didn't hit our crew when they had nine health, which would have killed them. Now we can just let the uh, the Vulcan do its magic. But that first breaching missile missing also really threw a, a wrench into my plans. But they also have no dodge chance, which means they're gonna die pretty quickly. Okay, good enough, good enough. 20 scrap, two fuel. That's all. Would have expected a little bit more, but you know what? We can finally get both weapon systems online. We can open up with both the Vulcan and the Breach. We don't have to board anybody at this point. We can just use our weapons to take all these fools out. It's beautiful. We should get some more reactor power, but being able to open up with a Breach is so nice. Not particularly interesting, all right? I do need more fuel, but we always kind of need fuel. Ah, oh, this is a, such a garbage encounter too. It's just combat for no reason. You know what? That's fine, that's fine. Everyone will have to go get healed up though, including the Rockman. You're so slow, Rockman. We're ready to go, I'm just, you know, waiting for the Rockman. 
Okay, go back to your rooms, charge up the shields, jump away. Hey, it's an actual encounter now. It's a rebel automated scout. They have a missile launcher, which means we're probably gonna open up with a, with a defense drone. Yeah, we need a defense drone, so I'll spend a drone part. We're running a little bit low on on parts and pieces. You know, we have five fuel, 11 missiles, and seven drone parts. It's not that much. I shot down their missile, I think, with my Vulcan. That was interesting. Charge ion. I guess you can just fire. Ooh. Check out my doors. Who cares? Bum, bum, bum. Why is this stupid sun encounter so common, but Slocknog is never seen, says Solder J. <laughs> I agree. I need more Slocknog in my life. It's very annoying that that sun encounter is relatively common because you don't get anything from the encounter. Literally, you get nothing except possibly a lost run because of like fires and boarding. But you know what? It's not that bad, I guess. Could be worse. Let's get that breaching back online. There's a store, we uh, cannot backtrack though, so I'm just gonna upgrade the power slightly and then jump ahead. If we're lucky enough to find a store in our near future, we might be able to, uh, to buy some fuel and hull repair. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep going. And then save scrap, I think, for the fourth bar of shields. You, I can just shoot immediately. You have a combat drone mark one, a beam drone mark two, double shot laser, and ions. The ions are the scariest thing, so we're gonna fire the breaching missile at their weapons and hope it lands. Well, that's why they don't call them Hiddles. <laughs> you know. That's exactly what I didn't want, is them to get all of their ions out, but they did. But, you know, I'll use another missile for that, whatever. I could hack them, but... <sighs> because we have two things that require hacking parts, missiles, sorry, a missile defense and hacking, I don't want to use too much... So what am I saying? Because we have two things that require drones, missile defense and hacking, I don't want to use too many drones. I'd rather use missiles, because eventually we can replace the missile launcher with another weapon. But we, we're going to need defense drones forever, including all phases of the Rebel flagship. We're going to need hacking forever, including, in theory, all phases of the Rebel flagship. That's six drone parts. We're going to need those. Missiles, we can go down to zero and then just use another weapon. So I'm not that worried about the missiles. I'm more worried about the drones. System repair drone. We can sell it and there is a store. So we're gonna go to the store, we're gonna sell things, we're going to heal up. Mud welcome, how's it going? How are you doing today? This wonderful fine day that is today. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we... <sighs> Ion Blast Mark II is kind of interesting. We could take down enemy shields and then take them down even further with the Vulcan, but we don't need that. I'm just gonna get sensors, fuel, hull repair. And we're gonna sell the system repair drone and probably also the Ion Charger just for scrap purposes. It's, this is not a very good weapon. Like, it's, it's fine. Uh, in theory, it can take down any number of shields, but we can kind of do that already, and we're gonna get another weapon in the future, uh, ideally. Um, n none of these, because, I mean, it's just the same, but yeah, this is fine. We're still okay. 69 scrap, the perfect amount. And we're just gonna keep jumping forward. And, uh, ooh. ideally here, take out their weapons. And it lands. If it lands, I'm a happy man. Solder says, Iron Blast 2 works well with the Vulcan, I think. Just non-stop barrage. Which is true. However, the Vulcan can already take down shields. We don't need 
ions to take down shields. We just need more lasers. We need to output more damage for when the Vulcan actually gets powered up. The fact that we have a weapon pre-igniter uh, it incentivizes things like ion blasts and flak weapons. Oops, did I do that? 36 scrap. We'll jump to the exit. And uh, see what we get here. More reactor? I I'm gonna do it because I'd rather, you know, get something from that encounter, but we, we obviously don't need to. We could just, uh, you know, say no, but... In theory, you know, we can always get more missiles and drone parts as we go. You know, we, we, we might end the run with an excess number of these, so I'm, I'm running a bit of a risk and a gamble, but I still think it's okay. So we're gonna go jump, 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 store, and then hopefully buy a replacement gun, because we do need a gun. In general, welcome to the stream, how you doing? You're learning a lot from the FTL and Darkest Dungeon, thanks. Well, you have, I hope, Better runs as a result. I hope that you are enjoying the FTL and the Darkest Dungeon. Four Flak versus the flagship says Connie OP. It says Veridi. Flaks are pretty good. There won't be a next time open fire. Absolutely. They do have a med bay. They also have a missile launcher. Um, we're gonna breach their weapons. We're gonna wait until they board. Then we're gonna breach the weapons. Then we're going to auto fire on the med bay. I need to, I guess, like send over my mantises to deal with that. Yeah, I'll, I'll board you. I don't care. We'll get the Vulcan charged up. There are two mantises aboard my ship I'm going to have to deal with, but I'm just waiting for the, for my mantis to get there. And we have other crew members we can use too. We, we shouldn't worry about this so much. Okay, are you gonna land a missile? Or a bomb, rather. Please don't hit my crew, because my crew is kind of wounded. I decided to breach their med pay. <laughs> I didn't want to wait for the Vulcan to get charged up. And you know what? I don't regret a thing, damn it. I might regret slightly, because now I have to retreat and heal up, but I don't really regret that much. Okay, everyone go get healed up. Where's the med bay? Get the med bay going. Killed another one of their crew. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Let's get the backup battery going. I need to remember this. In the, in the side room, you know what? Come say hi. They still have a mantis trying to get that stuff repaired. They're not gonna get it repaired. Let me just, you know, argue that you're doing a good job, but you're not gonna, <laughs> they're already died. I'll argue that you're doing a good job, you're putting in the effort, but you're not gonna live. I'm sorry. Okay, everyone get healed up. Like freaking everyone needs to get healed up. You know, at least I have a lot of crew. You know, if we ever get boarded, we can kind of handle it to an extent. Rockman, the furthest room from the med bay. You you want to try to not have your Rockman as far away from the med bay as possible, but I've definitely just done that accidentally. <laughs> 152 scrap. We're gonna go to the store before we do anything else. Before I upgrade my ship, I want to buy a gun. Now I could buy a gun, but instead I could just attack you, and I'm gonna attack you because I can get through your shields. Unfortunately, uh, the bomb isn't going to do any, or I don't have a bomb, so I can't take out your med bay. But you also just have, like, just garbage guns. You got a bunch of lasers, but, you know, that's about it. Good stuff, good stuff. So, standard operational procedure take out their weapons. Then we'll uh, Vulcan their med bay. 
Because they have a door system, I kind of want to just take out their med bay and then board them. So we're going to do it in that order. Uh, I'll just keep auto-firing on their weapon system, though, just to make sure that they uh, keep those weapons offline. They have an autopilot, too, which is a little annoying. There's a fire in the, in the weapons room, which is kind of perfect. We got a retreat. A little close, down to two HP on <laughs> Chicken Zane. <laughs> Oops, you're fine. You're fine though, buddy, you're fine. Oh Lord. They did get their weapon systems back online though. Let's, let's take those out again. They're trying to surrender, no thank you. They're trying to heal up in the med bay, no thank you. Yeah, we got you now. It took a minute. We got you now. Are they gonna hit me? Oh, because I didn't have the dodge chance up. <gasps> yeah, they hit me once. I forgot to uh, to redivert the power back into dodge. Oh well. Why did I even have the power out of the out of the engines to begin with? Oh, because I took their weapons offline, but they got them repaired. They had an NG. Oops. Uh, I mean, what I should have done is I should have just uh, used the backup battery. I keep forgetting about the backup battery. Hey, Drugenbreaker, welcome. How's it going? I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're enjoying yourself and enjoying the stream too. Obviously, obviously, I hope that. All right, let's do this. Connie says food coma has been achieved. People are interested in what you had to eat, Connie. I hope you have an answer for the, for the masses. Okay. I have no shields. Let's get those shields online. We're gonna back a battery. We're gonna breach their. Weapons, because their weapons are, are scary. Weapons offline, success. Start vulcaning their med bay. We'll depower the breaching missile to power up our teleporter and engines. There's actually a fire in their weapons room, which is ideal. I mean, not ideal, but it's definitely good. I think I'm okay with this. Just gotta wait for the Vulcan to get powered up. This is highly annoying because I gotta deal with this guy in my piloting room. Did kill a crew member though because they're stuck in the med bay trying to get healed up. And now they're getting wounded. But I closed off my... Uh, my auto fire a little bit too early. I think if I just let it auto fire, it'll kill them. Because they're not gonna be able to out heal the damage that I'm outputting. We will not accept surrender. Oh, oh, oh. They left. Um, you're in the, you're in the, you're in my teleporting room? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh. It's okay, I can I can kill the crew. Give me a second. Is there a five oh they have one HP remaining. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the kill the ship. I don't wanna accidentally kill my crew if there's a fire aboard the ship. Um so we're just gonna do it like this. We still got 55 scrap, but I just really did not want to accidentally destroy my, my crew. Because <laughs> that would be that'd be very awkward. Oh Lord, but we did get another shop with <gasps> no weapons. Oh, that's actually quite unfortunate. Uh, we really would have liked to have seen some weapons here. It's fine. Uh, I mean, we still have the Vulcan cannon. They can't take that away from me, so I'll accept it. I'll keep it. Do some upgrading of my own. I'll upgrade my own ship. Uh, we might be able to find another shop. 
I guess, but this is Sector 7. If we don't find a shop and get a new gun, we're just gonna have to rely on the Vulcan Cannon to destroy the enemy flagship. It can do it, but I would prefer to have another gun. Anything that shoots lasers, please. Nothing. There is a store. First laser mark two and a pike beam. Those are really good. Automated reloader is also what we want. We want to get the Vulcan firing faster. And then we want a burst laser because that's that's very good value. Um, you know, I, I don't think we need the pike beam. I think we can actually do this. Open up with a breaching missile and then just depower it to power up the burst laser. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, because like the burst laser is just here for uh, for when the Vulcan is powered up already. Yeah, yeah, just to help do extra damage, take out shields. Um, breaching missile is what we're going to use to open up most combats unless they have like a, a defense drone. This is good. This is very good. Okay. So pretty much this is our ship, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really gonna have too many opportunities to kind of change our loadout, but this is a very good loadout. Hack into the station to prevent an alert. Sure, why not? Anti-ship beam drone and 26 scrap. It's something. We can always sell it. We use one drone part, but you know, we avoided the combat. Maybe we should have done the combat, but I think if we do the combat, there's a risk of a negative, maybe? I want to do more of these blue event options so I can learn, you know? I want to learn, know what I'm doing wrong. They have no teleporter. Interesting. We are going to take out their weapons. There's no breach. Why am I not getting these breaches? I think, feel like I should be getting these, uh, these breaches. We are going to... Is it even worth boarding them? Yes. We're gonna punch through their shields pretty quickly. Good bomb. It did get their flak gun back online. Okay, but the clone bay's offline and they also have a fire in the room, so they're not, they're not gonna be able to do anything there. Flak gun is also offline, which is beautiful. Let's um, just let our crew kind of hang out a little bit. They can't really har har harm me at all. Let's let them get stuff repaired and see what they're gonna do. They put out the fire. Well, uh, say hello to my little friends. <laughs> and I'll take out their O2. No reason to have our weapons going at all. 49 scrap. Beautiful, all right. Another combat down. Still kind of running low on resources. Seven missiles, 10 drone parts is enough, especially if we just use like one missile per combat, one drone per combat. That should get us pretty far. We might find another store, so I'm gonna hold off on spending scrap for a moment. Backtrack store to sell. I don't think it's worth it to sell the one drone part, because the one drone part's only worth like 20 scrap. Um, like we could get some money out of it, but we might get more money just by doing one jump. So I'm, I'm I think I'm rather inclined to jump forward. Attempt to follow and help, or another teleporter event. Ooh, but this time we got a Zoltan who's a great pilot. Interesting. Okay, uh, Connie, you're, uh, you don't know how, you don't know why, but your robotic body has transcended. It has transcended and you have merged 
with this energy cloud, we accidentally teleported aboard our ship. Just imagine we're like in the Star Trek universe and this stuff makes sense and can actually happen. Your body is, it's, it's overloading and now you've overloaded and now you've turned into a freaking Zoltan. My God, what is, what has happened to you? That's insane. I've never seen that before. Are you okay? And now we have a new engine personnel, because you can power up the engines. Beautiful. 234 scrap. Well, we know that there's no store here, so upgrade shields. Upgrade engines. Jump ahead. Pretty good character if you ask me. From human to Zoltan. From human to NG to Zoltan. We're gonna attack the pirate. I could let, I could activate my weapons threateningly, but like why when I can just attack the pirate? They're gonna hack me? You hacked my teleporter. Why? Uh, I am gonna use a defense drone. Rather not take damage, it's only one drone part. And then we might use one missile just to take out their clone bay, but this ship does not look that bad. A couple of humans, four humans and one NG. Pretty sure we can handle this. In fact, we don't even need to use a um, a breaching missile. In theory, we can just wait for their clone bay to go offline and then board them and get some kills. They've got pretty good dodge chance though. I'll admit it. Well, if we're not gonna use the breach, let's get the um, dodge chance powered up. Okay, clone bay not offline. Clone bay offline, which means when our hack is out, we will board them. And we will get the backup boarders ready to go. Uh, should I do anything with my Vulcan? I guess I should fire on like their weapons or something. We are about to teleport back to our ship. I guess that's the problem with um, with what we have because they have the hacking part and their hacking part is gonna auto teleport me back home. Here we go. But at least we know what we're doing, you know. Their hack is finished. We'll teleport back after we take out their clone bay. Well, I, we don't even have to wait. We can just teleport back immediately. I'll just take out their clone bay and kill this guy. There you go, he's dead now. And as long as we don't teleport back, <laughs> we'll be able to kill the crew. We actually got hit by a missile? Oh, our defense drone got shot down again. I hate it when that happens. I always like forget to pay attention to that and I just don't notice it. They got their freaking clone bay back online. The jerks. Oh, okay, I'm gonna wait for their hack, then I'll teleport. They did run out of missiles though. Use two drone parts. Unfortunate. Okay. We're trying to escape. You're not gonna escape. Okay, and the clone bay's offline, and their ship has not been destroyed, and I didn't lose my crew for no reason. And we got a defense drone Mark II. Very interesting. That could be something that we end up dumping excess power into if we have nothing else to do. Little hard to do though, because I do have a, a bit of a limit on reactor, but, and a limit on drone parts, but you never know, maybe a, an extra defense drone would help out a little bit. Cool, at least it's something. We have 70 scrap. I'm gonna upgrade reactor twice. We're gonna get the breaching back online. Everyone's back in their original rooms. Let's keep going. We're a little bit low on hull. You know, you wanna be at that green mark so that you heal the full. But, uh, oh, good God. It is what it is. Uh, breach their, their drones might be the worst thing about this fight, honestly. I'm gonna take out their drone system if I can. We missed. And yeah, them hacking our piloting is pretty bad. But we, uh, we know what we're doing. Let's get that burst laser charged up. 
In theory, I could use the defense drone. Well, I can't use the defense drone mark too. I don't have the uh, the space for it. Why do I have a 15% dodge chance? Oh, you can't even man the station. Oh, that's that's awful. We gotta take out those drones. I want to take out that uh, that big drone. That thing is the the big pain in the butt. Okay. Big drone offline. Big drone offline. So now take out their clone bay. I figured we would get hit a little bit. Let's stop attacking them. They have a fire aboard their ship. They're going to try to put out. We are not gonna accept surrender. We're gonna kill them! That's what you deserve. They actually took out my teleporter. I did not recognize that. But also, I can I can just sit here for a minute. They're not doing anything. They're trying to get stuff repaired. We should probably stop them. They probably have a lot of crew health is the problem. I need to take out their hacking part, actually, so I can get through. Because I'd like to board them, but I need to get this stuff repaired, but I need to get in the, uh, <laughs> the slug so he can teleport over. There we go. Okay, board them. They do have a repair drone, which is really annoying, because he's going to be getting the clone bay repaired as I'm killing the crew, but we'll still be able to take him out pretty quickly. We got him, we got him. So we took a little bit more damage. We're taking a little bit of damage here and there. Not that much. Obviously I would you know, prefer to take zero whenever possible, but we'll, we'll you know, it, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. There's no store, so we can't heal up right before the uh, the eighth sector. But I think once we get to the Rebel flagship, we'll be fine. I think just getting there, you know, I'm just taking a little bit of damage on occasion. Because yeah, I mean, we're, we're taking a little bit of damage, but I'm also trying specifically not to kill ships, to kill the crew, to get more loot. I think that's a big component as to why I've been taking damage. When we're when we're just focusing on killing the ship, I think we'll be fine. I do wish that we had a cloak. Um, this fight also kind of just sucked because they hacked our piloting and we lost 10 dodge chance plus they hit the engines and we lost another 10 dodge chance, so that was uh, highly unfortunate. Okay, next beacon please. Nothing? Uh, another pirate ship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack them again. They, they don't actually seem that... that scary. Um, I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna take out their med bay, and then use a defense drone. We missed. Which, let's be honest, that's to be expected at this uh, at this stage and age. So we'll just uh, get the burst laser powered up. <laughs> They boarded back very quickly. Very, very quickly. They have a, an extremely fast charging teleporter. They did land a shot. Oh, because the defense drone went offline again. I didn't notice it. <laughs> that happens so freaking often. Don't take it offline though, I need that to live. It's like every freaking time. Yeah, I know, I know. You'll be fine. They should probably be retreating pretty soon. No, go in there, you go there. Backup battery, O2, med bay on. 
I just don't want them to take out my defense drone, because if that happens, I won't have a defense drone. There we go, perfect. Now we'll board them. Finish taking out their crew. I also took a lot of ion damage. Why, why am I taking so much ion damage from their stupid ion thing? Did the fight really go on that long that their uh, ion chain ion fired like four times? Or did I just mispower my shields and just lose shield integrity for no reason? I feel like that might be the case actually. All right, but we do have an ion intruder drone. It actually might be worth using in certain situations just to F with the enemy crew, especially if we use it as like another border. So maybe we'll uh, try to do like just a little bit of upgrading there so that we might be able to use that on occasion. And then a little more dodge chance, we'll go from there. I still think we'll be fine. I do slightly worry about not being able to output enough damage, but I'm hoping that's what the Vulcan is here for. You know, I'm hoping that the Vulcan will just allow us to do infinite damage and we'll be able to kill any ship that we come across. That's the ideal. And that's the idea. I suppose the uh, the other thing is that I really hope that we can get some uh, bonus, oh my lord, bonus um, drone parts and hull repair and missiles from the repair beacons in the next encounter. We'll see. Okay, they still have a missile launcher online. You know what? Put out the defense drone. We got time. We can stall. We can wait. Thank you. That's a Hermes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next sector, get us out of here. Yeah, that's a lot of missiles. <laughs> so we do have 10 fuel until 10 hull points repaired, and there's an immediate repair beacon. We're just gonna beeline the base. We already have fourth bar of shields. We don't really need that much scrap at this point. I just want to get the, the final little bits of upgrading done. And I also really want drone parts and missiles. So I'm going hard for the drone parts and missiles right now. We, uh, if we have to do, you know, encounters, we have to do encounters. I will get all of our reactor power sorted. And after this, then we'll start doing upgrades of like hacking and whatnot. Federation scum. Yeah, about that. They boarded me while I hit him with a, a freaking missile, really? I mean, all right, if that's what you really want to do. They did board me in my piloting room, which is highly unfortunate, but... I'll probably just board them in a minute. In a moment. You get out of there. Slug, you get in there. I need to, I need to auto-fire. Why, why am I not auto-firing? Oh, I just killed you. <laughs> I, I did not expect to have just killed you, but I did. Okay, you guys go to the med bay. You have plenty of power. This might be worth using like one hacking part on, but again, once the Vulcan gets powered up, we'll be fine. Did take a couple of points of damage from the mini beam of all things. Whatever, I guess we can't hack them now, so we'll just uh, board them in a moment. First things first, I want to take out their uh, their flak. Bef ideally before it fires again. Oh, it's gonna fire again. They boarded me with one person. At least they didn't, you know, hit with all their shots that time. Just take out the flak. It's right there, thank you. Now take out their, uh, their medbay, please. It's been taken out already. Beautiful. So let's go uh, into that med bay. Whoa, I hit myself. That's fine. <laughs> the weapon room's on fire. They can't do anything. I took a little, I took, I took too much damage though. Kirkner, uh, dismiss. I just wanted to look at the, uh, at the beacons. Oh, fine. Can I look at the beacons, please? 
there's no more repair beacons. So we can't heal our hull integrity at this point, which is unfortunate. Well, I guess we're just, you know, this, this is our run. This is what we got. Get that breaching missile back online. Mublo the Mantis, yes, I even want you to get healed up. Thank you. 35 scrap. What can we upgrade? O2, sensors, we, we have a slug, we don't need sensors. When we start using hacking, we'll want hacking. Um, so we will go hacking. That way if it gets hit, it, it stays online. You know, even that is a benefit. And now I'll try to do two more beacons before the rebels. Only six engines, but you know what? That's it's honestly not that bad. Ion intruder drone, annoying, but let's go after their. Let's go after their drones. Or should we go after? Well, actually, the defense drone might shoot. Will shoot down the ion intruder drone. So we'll do that. Then we'll take out their med bay and we'll just board them immediately. Let's see if there's a, a fire. There is a fire. There's also a, a repair drone, which is really unfortunate. They'll probably also get the system repaired before I can take out their, uh, their repair drone. Nope, we took it out, which is beautiful. Okay, they um, did land in my, why is my burst laser not online? They did land inside of my drone control system. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hack their drone. I really don't want them to hack me. This also has the added benefit of keeping their repair drone from either spawning or going in here to do repairs. Um, you're a little low on health. You'll be fine. That'll seal the deal too. Just, just wait, just wait. Okay, we got a lot of fuel. And nobody died once again. <laughs> it's always nice when you can, when you can say nobody's dead after an encounter. Okay, 72 scrap. We should continue to spend our scrap. What's the chance that we're gonna find a store? Essentially zero, let's be honest. It would be funny if there was a store. So we'll do one more jump. Well, no, uh, it could be like an asteroid field. Oh, probably not. But what, what should we upgrade? Teleporter, hacking. Probably. <sighs> probably the. Probably the crew teleporter. That way we can just ensure that, you know, no one's gonna die if they accidentally get boarded away. What's my power situation look like? Power situation's actually fine. Yeah, yeah, let's get the, um, Get the crew, let's get the crew teleporter. 10 second charge on it. We can re we can retreat very quickly if we need to. I think that's pretty good. All right, breach. Burst laser, Vulcan, auto fire. Burst laser, auto fire. Crew, get ready to board. We took out their Vulcan, which I wish we could have taken out more than that, but it's better than nothing. I will kill their crew. They will not escape. 
they will most certainly perish. I should use a defense drone. Like, at this point, we, we gotta stop taking damage if we can avoid it. Now, the axe also uh, took out my burst laser, which is really unfortunate. I can't kill the crew on this one. I'm taking a lot of damage on these encounters. It's all just missiles, you know? It's missiles and the defense drone is not doing, it's not doing enough. A cloak would be really, really sweet. But obviously we don't have a cloak, do we? So we're gonna get hit for another two damage. They're gonna board me again, which is just a little frustrating, but our weapons are now, our Vulcan is now auto-firing. Our defense drone is completely depowered, I just realized, so we took another four damage. We're just getting hit, we're taking a lot of damage. Please take out their weapons. At this point, I'm not killing the crew, I'm just gonna kill their ship. Piloting's out. We have like a 40% dodge chance too. Why, is, why are we not dodging anything? <laughs> Whatever, get this, oh my god, thank you. Are we even going to be able to win against the Rebel flagship? I have no idea, I've taken so much damage in the past two jumps, I'm pissed. I'm, I'm royally pissed, man. Okay, everyone, go get healed up. Abe 20 minutes ago when he passed on the cloak. I had other more important purchases, unfortunately, but this is still very annoying that we're at half health and we were just at full health like two jumps ago. We just we, we just need to get good dodges, that's the thing. We need to dodge these freaking missiles as they come in. But we'll give it one more, one more shot here. Let's hope for the RNG gods. We have 37 scrap. Upgrade oxygen. We're gonna need it anyways. We'll jump. Rebel flagship, let's do this. Weapon pre-igniter, breaching, Vulcan, burst laser, defense drone, whatnot. That was gonna be weapons. That was gonna be sensors. Oxygen is fine. I can power up oxygen to level two and counter this. Counter this. It's another reason to have O2 at level two for this fight, specifically for that reason. Now, we got a hack. I'm gonna hack their shields. I'm gonna breach their missile to try to take it out. We'll get the burst laser going. That's a very good missile. And uh, I'll even... I'll even toss in a hack. Why not? We might get a little bit lucky and actually be able to do some shield damage. Oh, the fire is so good! You know what we should do? Should probably... start dismantling their ship. Oh, look at the fires that they got going on in there. Their crew is in there, unfortunately. Getting it repaired, but you know, when we when they come off a cloak, we'll be able to toss in a hack. You know what? Actually, yeah, fire on their shields first because they're all in there. Look at that, fire, 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 they're dead. Then we can take out their, uh, nah, can't take out their missiles. But we did kill like three crew members. I think we're just going to say that's good enough and we're just gonna kill the ship because we're already, you know, in that position. So. There it goes, okay. So we killed like four crew members, I think. That's not bad. Could be better. My crew members were aboard the enemy ship! <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to bring them back! 
Well, now we got six. Oh, that is, that is so unfortunate. I think we're still fine, but I gotta focus a little bit more on uh, killing the crew in the second phase, because that was so dumb of me. <laughs> I apologize for the people who died. I trusted you, says Chicken Zane. I'm sorry. For you, though, we will emerge victorious, and we will destroy the enemies and save the Federation for the both of you. I'm sorry, but that was dumb. That was dumb. I just, I completely forgot about it. Cause normally I don't board them in the weapons room and I wanted to try to dismantle their ship and then kill the crew, but I decided to just go for the, for the, the kill and then I just completely blanked on it. So bad of me. But here we go, we'll do it again. We do want to have the breaching missile here, believe it or not, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three things at once. Well, actually, we're gonna shoot down their boarding drone first. Then we're going to hack shields, activate the ion intruder drone, and fire the breaching missile all at the same time. Something should land. Okay. We hit the Iron Intruder drone and the hack. So, we'll get the burst laser on. Uh, we won't hack immediately. We'll wait for a moment on that. For the Vulcan to get a little bit powered up. That's, that's actually really nice. That missile, or that weapon system will go offline pretty quickly. Don't think that I'm gonna board them though. I think we're uh, beyond boarding right now. Okay. Please fire. Thank you. Get the defense room back online so we don't get boarded. Ah, we missed the uh, the anti-board. So you know what? We're not gonna board them. We're just gonna take this thing out. Burm, 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 burm. Hack those shields. Take out their missiles. Actually, what we might want to consider doing is, uh, like, let's kill the pilot. He's just kind of hanging out right there. Okay, defense drone is offline. We'll get the Iron Intruder drone up. We don't even need the uh, backup battery, but I'll do it for the oxygen. Okay, pilot's dead. We still have two crew members. Can we kill... Can we kill one of them? Let's wait for them to go into the shield room. Ah, uh, but the door's gonna open in a second. How are we gonna, how are we gonna kill that crew? I need, I, once this door behind them closes, then I'll, uh, I'll take some shots. That iron intruder drone is so good right now though. <laughs> now we'll take some shots. You know what, kill him. Even if it gives them an, uh, an auto repair on the next combat, I think I'd rather just kill him. Kill him now. Kill him now! You're already dead. If we start a fire in the room, the, the computer also cannot auto repair that. So, you know, we have options. All right, I mean, that was a, a rather good phase. We, we killed all the crew. We will still get mind controlled, but we can immediately board the enemy ship and then start taking missile launchers offline and whatnot. We can still just immediately start that process. We do not need to have the breaching missile uh, activated, but I'm gonna do it anyways because it does more damage than the burst laser if it lands. We have 31 scrap, nowhere to go. Uh, so we're just gonna buy whatever we can and we'll jump. Final thoughts. We need to make sure that if we get mind controlled, it's in not bad rooms. So we're gonna have all of our crew members hang out in rooms that don't matter except for the pilot. Actually, including the pilot. The pilot, though, is just going to go into the uh, like O2 room or something. We just need to make sure that if we get mind controlled, we can counter it in a room that doesn't matter. So the rock man in the hacking room is like pretty much perfect. We don't care that the rock man is there. 
what we're gonna do is we're going to get our boarding team ready and we're gonna board very quickly let's get the defense drone online that did do four damage which is beautiful let's wait for the mantis to get his way back I should have had the mantis closer to the teleporter but it's it's fine uh, and we're gonna board them and we're gonna take out their missiles we're gonna dismantle the ship from the inside out and we're just gonna continue continuously auto fire on probably the mind control first because we can hack their shields Missiles coming in. Did you shoot down my defense drone? You bastards. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every freaking time. We did dodge all the missiles, which is pretty nice. Oh my god. Every freaking time. Send over an ion intruder drone. Uh, let's stop. I don't really care if he disables the hacking part, honestly. The hacking part doesn't matter. What matters is just not dying, and we're not gonna die, I don't think. Took a little bit of damage, not not much. He did not take out the uh, the system. Good to know. Good to know that if you get mind controlled with a level three mind control. Oh, we took out the part. Never mind. Their mind control's offline. We destroyed it. No wonder. Okay, we're fine. Get the defense drone online. They're about to fire missiles. Uh, keep taking out their like shields and, and parts and whatnot. Missiles incoming, defense drone online. Got hit with a couple, that's not that bad. Shields, hack the shields. Take out the mind control. Mind control offline, don't kill your crew. Crew saved. Ion intruder drone, ionize. Pew! Only 35% dodge chance, but I think at this point it's safe to say that we can't die. <laughs> I think we're I think we're in the clear. We did get hit once again, but we did it! And you know what? Chicken Zane, Floofy. It's all because of you two. Pans dot. <laughs> It's because of you. We couldn't have done it without you. Leave no mantis behind. Oh well. Still a good run. 6,400 is a decent score. I didn't mean to go to the hangar. I wanted to go at stats, which is here. It's a new high score for the Gila monster. Beautiful. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got you guys killed. <laughs> Oh, disposable, you didn't You didn't see that? I left him aboard the enemy flagship. Interesting point of reference. If you have a clone bay, you can clone your crew members if you leave them aboard the enemy flagship. It's weird, because in theory you would expect your crew would still be alive, they would just be like taken home over or you know the ship would teleport away you don't know what's gonna happen to them but no if you leave your crew aboard the flagship you can clone them so that's not a problem it doesn't matter if you're in the left wing or the right wing or the central body of the flagship it doesn't matter if it teleports away you can clone your crew but if you have a med bay make sure you bring them home before you leave hmm? Hmm? I guess that's true Connie they could just have like you know cyanide teeth and then just bite into them as the ship teleports away and you activate the cloning process. I guess that would work. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways. Good run. Uh, it was a success. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my boarding squad, who I accidentally got killed. You took out one weapon on the Rebel flagship phase one. But that was enough. We killed all of the crew by phase two. Which meant on phase three, we did not have to worry about being boarded. As a result, we were able to focus our entire efforts 
on to taking out the enemy ship, taking out their missiles, taking out their mind control, taking out their shields, and that was it. Good stuff. Well, for uh, those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next round of FTL.